By far one of the most impressive lighting products that I have seen come out for the 5th generation 4Runners in a very long time are these taillights right here. The all new Morimoto XB LED taillight for the 2010 to 2023 4Runners. In this video I'm going to talk about the features and show you why this is probably the most impressive taillight on the market today and then we're going to show you a little bit of how to install it. Now these are super easy to install but there's an additional plug on the back of these taillights that allows you to plug in a light bar over your license plate. That is called the backup light boost bar and we'll get to that in a little bit. These XB taillights are a dramatic difference over your original taillights that you had before. No more do you have nasty incandescent bulbs that are not bright. These ones right here are all LED. It's a whole LED replacement housing. And as you can see right here, you got a red lens. Well, they do come with the smoked lens, which I know is really popular on this green 4Runner. I think the red lens looks good. And that's why we've installed these on this thing. So when you turn on your parking lights, you'll notice this cool light pipe all the way around the outside, which really brings your fifth generation 4Runner into the modern age. When you hit the brakes, you're going to notice these three bars on each side of your vehicle light up and they are extremely bright. I'm not just blowing smoke here. This is the most bright brake lights that I've ever seen on a taillight. I've already seen all the features on these taillights and the reverse light blew me away. This right here is the brightest reverse light I have ever seen out of an aftermarket taillight. This is impressive. And I know why Morimoto went all out for the 4Runners. It's because it's one of the most popular vehicles that somebody want to upgrade the lighting on. Now remember when I said that brake light was really bright and it illuminated red? Well, when you hit the turn signal, you got this sequential turn signal and it illuminates amber, which completes the look of these taillights. Morimoto doesn't just sell these products and say, okay, good to go. No, they have a five year warranty. So if you ever have any problems with any of these features not coming on or working properly, you can call Morimoto and they're gonna take care of it for you. We have a full customer service team at Headlight Revolution as well to help you guys if you had any issues when installing your 4Runner taillights. And lastly, the Morimoto XB LED tails are all designed, tested, engineered, and distributed here in the United States of America. Now, do you remember that backup light boost bar that I was talking about? Well, here's the back side of the smoked version on the passenger side, just to show you guys. This right here has a dummy plug on it, and if you wanted to, you could purchase from Headlight Revolution the Morimoto backup light boost bar, which then just makes it plug and play. So that is that bar that goes over your license plate that is essentially a light bar when you hit it in reverse. The only drawback from the backup light boost bar on the fifth generation 4Runners is it's kind of daunting to install. I don't want to deter you from buying it, but I just full disclosure, the install is pretty difficult. These taillights are held in by two screws on each side. So you can take the bolts off of the back side here when you reach into the hatch, you take off both of the screws and then these taillights are plug and play with your factory wiring. So you plug the Morimoto XB, whether you wanted the smoked or the red version into that factory wiring, you put those two screws back on and you're good to go. But if you did want that boost bar, it's a little bit more involved. Now I want to show you guys how to do the boost bar install. So I'm going to show you guys the video that Morimoto has already created to give you guys that step-by-step -step install. If you truly wanted the absolute best when it comes to reverse lights. All right, step one, go ahead and pop the truck. Now with the pry tool, locate the trim panel covering your taillight access hole and pry it off. Now take a wrench and a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two 10 millimeter nuts holding in the taillight. Now just pull the taillight straight towards you. Disconnect the one clip on the back side. Now grab your XB taillight and plug in the connector. Reinsert your taillight. It goes in the exact same way your stock one came out. Now reinsert the two 10 millimeter bolts back into the taillight. Now just remove the passenger side tail light the same way you did the driver's side. Now we're going to install our passenger side tail light. This tail light has an extra connection with a dummy connector plugged into it. This is where the backup light boost bar is going to get plugged into. Now just plug in your connector and thread your two 10 millimeter nuts back on. We now have both tail lights installed and they look amazing, but this is a great time to go and do a functions check. Have your buddy hop in the front seat and test out all the functions. From the running light, 
brake light, turn signal, and reverse. Great, everything's working for us. Now we're gonna install our backup light boost bar. Now this step-by-step -step process is a bit longer, so just stay with us, and we're also gonna include the steps in the description. Let's get into it. Now locate the cover above the grab handle and pry it off. Then remove your 10 millimeter bolt. Next, we're gonna pop off the hatch cover. Just start off in one area, then work your way around. Now grab the hatch cover and slide it towards the vehicle to release it. With the hatch cover released, disconnect your two cargo lights. Now remove your eight 10 millimeter bolts on the back of the trunk. Now our bracket's only held on by push clips. You can use a pry tool if you need, but you can just grab it and pull it and it'll come right out. Now for our case, we're gonna disconnect everything and set it out of the way to show you more clarity, but on your side, you can just secure it and continue to work. Now, go ahead and peel back your vapor barrier. It is sealed with butyl on the outside and it can be reused, but if you wanna reinforce it for some reason, we do sell butyl on the website. We need to remove the hatch handle from the hatch itself. It's held in by four 10 millimeter nuts. Two can be seen right here, and the other two are behind these access grommets on each side. Now unplug the three plugs at the top of the hatch and then press the grommet out so we can take out the harness. Now go ahead and grab your hatch and pull it down enough to access the handle, but make sure not to close it. Now go ahead and grab your handle and we're gonna pull it up to release it. You can use a plastic pry tool if you need to, but be careful not to scratch your paint. Looking at the handle, you're gonna make a small notch with a file or a drill bit on the right hand side to pass the backup light boost bar wiring through. Now it's finally time to start routing the wire for the backup light boost bar. Now with the backup light boost bar connector, and the right hand side grommet, start at the bigger end of the grommet and just push it through. So with trying to feed the connector through the grommet, it's okay to use some soapy water or some type of lubricant to make it a little easier. And then once you have the end of the connector close to the end of the grommet, you can go ahead and grab some needle nose pliers and pull it the rest of the way through. Now with that little slit we made, go ahead and slide it through there and make sure it fits. Now we have the backup light boost bar wiring ran through the grommet attached to the hatch handle. Next step is to go ahead and install our hatch handle and feed the wiring through to the inside of the hatch. Let's get into it. To make it easier for us to run all the wiring, we're going to mount our backup light boost bar first. Now go ahead and take the backup light boost bar harness and feed it through the hole. After that, put in your clips and your grommets. Now go ahead and reinstall the handle and ensure that the backup loose wiring is in line with the slit that we made earlier. And reinsert the four 10 millimeter nuts holding on the handle. Now go back through and plug your connectors back in. Now go ahead and reinsert your access covers. Now go and start routing the backup light boost wall harness. Start behind the connectors and route it all the way through to the left side of the vehicle or the driver's side of the vehicle. Pull the wiring all the way to the left to make sure it's tight. And then on the far left connector or the connector with the blue tape, put a zip tie around it to secure the backup light boost wall wiring. Now grab some snips and cut off the excess. Now with the wiring pulled tight, Move on to the next available stud with a zip tie and secure it. And with the snips, cut off the excess. Now locate the harness on the far left side of the hatch and with the zip tie, secure it again. On the driver's side between the vehicle and the hatch, locate the rubber boot, the holder, and the other rubber boot. You're gonna go ahead and pull down on the rubber boot to unsecure it. And then to take off the bracket, get a pick and just pry right under it while you pull down at the same time. Now remove the factory electrical tape, that way we can make room for our backup light boost bar wiring. Now with the wiring snake, go ahead and start running it up, that way you can grab your backup light boost bar wiring and pull it through. And now with the wiring snake pulled through, I'm gonna grab the backup light boost bar connector, place it right onto it, and grab some electrical tape and just tape it to it. And now with the wiring all taped up, we can go and start pulling it through. Grab your wiring snake again, and on the bottom section of this grommet, start to feed it through. Now go ahead and do the same thing and tape it off again. Now just pull the snake back through the grommet. Now just take off your tape. 
We are almost done. One last thing that we have to talk about is the Backup Light Boost Bar extension harness. The extension harness, all it does is exactly what it sounds like. It's just gonna connect to one side of the harness and be routed all the way down to the tail light. So let's go ahead and finish this up and show you how it works. Grab your extension harness and your regular Backup Light Boost Bar connection and plug in the two. Now grab the other side of the extension and start feeding it through the hole. And then with the other hand, gently pry down on the headliner so you can grab it. Now with the harness pulled tight, go ahead and grab the grommets and push them back into place. Now with the rest of the wiring, we're just gonna gently pry back the headliner and feed the wiring through. Now with the pry tool, pry this plastic piece back enough to where you can feed the rest of the wiring through and down towards the tail light. Now take the back of the light boost bar harness and plug it into the tail light harness. You do have some excess wiring, so just go ahead and fold that up. Once it's folded, secure it with a zip tie and put it out of the way. Now just grab your cover and snap it back on. Now all we have left to do is install our trunk cover. First, we're going to reinstall our waterproof membrane. Next up, we're going to reinstall our speaker. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit daunting to install that boost bar, but it is possible. All you have to do is follow those steps to a T. It's real simple as long as you take your time and just do one step at a time. Guys, obviously these are the best taillights you could buy for the fifth generation 4Runner to date. However, Morimoto also makes headlights for these 4Runners. And we've also tested a lot of other products for the 4Runners as well. Just check it out at headlightrevolution.com. All you have to do is type in your year, make and model, and it'll show you everything that we've tested that's actually worth putting on your vehicle.